What's up everybody? I'm Chef Mikey. Welcome back to Chef's Harvest Farm. I'm sitting in my raised bed garden today and today I'm going to be planting these zucchini plants and marigold plants over in this raised bed. And I'm going to plant these directly through this mulch but the cool thing about this mulch is that this mulch was grown here and the roots are still attached feeding the microbiology in the soil while at the same time mulching the soil to protect it from the sun. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to grow your own mulch using cover crops in your raised bed garden. Let's go do it. Got my five gallon bucket of uh, peas and oats cover crop here. And I'm just gonna broadcast it right on top of the soil. The oats are gonna grow straight up and then the peas climb up the oats. You know, it's just gonna be like a four or five foot tall, big mass of cover crop. It's been about three months since I seeded the raised garden beds over here. And so today I'm gonna terminate them. So this bed's peas and oats right here, which is what you watched me do. And then this bed got planted to some mustard cover crops. And the peas and oats, I'm gonna crimp them down so they'll stay like a mulch on top of the raised bed. And then I'm just gonna plant directly into the terminated cover crop. And to do that with the peas and oats, because I want it as a mulch on top, I'm just gonna like crimp it using this. It's like a tomato stick. I'm just going to step on it and then I'm going to tarp the whole area and leave it tarped for like two weeks and then it's all going to be dead when we come back. Okay, so the next step, I'm gonna water it in pretty good, and then I'm just gonna pull the silage tarps over. So it's super important that if you're not familiar with this process, they're using the right tarp. It's not just like a tarp from Home Depot. They're UV treated tarps. So I'm not super concerned about um, like microplastics ending up in the soil or anything, because these tarps are made and designed to be sitting out in the sun. But so yeah, make sure you use the correct tarp. You could also use greenhouse plastic. And other than those two materials, I wouldn't use anything else. And so I'm gonna water it in first and then pull the tarps back because the tarps are way more effective when it's wet underneath. So I'm gonna tarp this whole area, including all this area where the fence is kind of a problem area where I have to mow and I have to move it every time. I'm just gonna tarp this, try to kill this grass and possibly just fill it all in with wood chip. All right, so it's been exactly two weeks since we laid the tarp down over the raised bed cover crop. So I'm gonna pull it off and we'll see what it looks like. All right, y'all, so you can kind of see what it looks like when I move the tarp over. It's like completely dead and the mulch is just right on top of the raised bed garden. So now I'm gonna like clean up the whole area. I'm gonna take my little flame weeder here. It just hooks up, it's just a torch that hooks up to a propane tank. I'm just gonna like kill all the little weeds that are around in the area. I'm gonna hit it with my weed eater first and I'm gonna flame weed it all. And then I'm just gonna like fill in the whole area with wood chips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull this mulch aside. It's like pretty thick and I'm just gonna like make myself a little hole. And then I'm just gonna put a little handful of compost in the hole just to make sure that the plant has like all the nutrition that it needs. And then I'm gonna take my zucchini plant, bury him in the hole. <laughs> And then I just move the mulch kind of back 
and that's it. So this raised bed was actually cover crop to mustard, which I use to like suppress soil borne pathogens. They suppress like pathogenic nematodes, soil borne diseases and pathogens like, uh, you know, tomato blight, things like that. So I'm just gonna plant these marigolds into this bed, really just to, like attract pollinators to my garden and everything. So I don't really need them to produce me any sort of income. It's mostly just for my wife and I.